In this demo, I will show how the integration between SAP HANA and Google BigQuery can help better serve customers. I will be using the open dataset that contains Google Analytics for a demo website and sample customer master data and sales orders in an s hana system. The Google Analytics dataset helps us understand how our customers navigate our website, where they are clicking, where they are coming from, whether it was a plain Google search or a marketing campaign, what devices they're using to navigate and which products are catching their eye or even purchasing. Of course, we do not have any information to identify individual buyers unless they register as a customer, which will record them in our SAP system. This integration works both ways, so I will show the replication from SAP HANA into BigQuery first. Because Google Analytics saves information directly into BigQuery and I have other tools like AutoML and Looker consuming information from BigQuery, I am replicating some data from SAP into a separate dataset. I will create a new business partner to demonstrate this replication. This is a dataset where I have replicated some SAP tables. And as you probably know, BUT000 is one of the tables for master data for business partners in a standard SAP system. I will create a new BP with ID GCP1. And as you can see, it does not exist in my replicated table in BigQuery yet. In my S4 HANA system, I will navigate to transaction BP. I will create the business partner with ID GCP1 that we have just confirmed does not exist in my replicated BigQuery table. I will add my name and some demographic fields that can help further analytics, such as an age group and the country. And now I will proceed to save the business partner into the HANA database. Because I have a real-time replication, I should immediately see this record replicated in Google BigQuery. As you can see, the business partner was immediately replicated, included the additional fields for demographics. As I mentioned before, I have a Looker report that has a live connection to BigQuery. So let's locate our newly created customer in a much more interesting visualization. Thanks to the live connection, we can see the customer right away. But since we have just created it, there is no sales history. I will choose another customer to see what that looks like. We can see Della from El Salvador together with her age group how many purchases she's made, and her favorite categories. This report can give real-time information to a sales representative or a customer service representative. But what could be handy is the ability for a sales rep on the phone, for example, to recommend other products that would be interesting to Della based on her past purchases or what she may be inquiring about. So I will take one of these products to a machine learning algorithm for recommendations. Apart from the ability to import machine learning models trained in TensorFlow, BigQuery allows us to create and execute pre-existing models using standard SQL. Google Analytics allows us to know where customers spend more time when navigating a site. In this case, customers have not explicitly rated products according to satisfaction, However, we will assume that if a customer spends more time with a product, they are interested in it. So we will look for customers who spent relatively high amounts of time on this product and see which other products were implicitly of interest to them. Because this dataset has thousands of similar products, the procedure will recommend a random subset of five products that should be of interest to someone who has purchased this specific product. This functionality can also be helpful if it's embedded within our SAP system. To demonstrate that the integration goes both ways, I have created a quick demo ABAP program that can call this same store procedure using the BigQuery API. 
This ABAP program will authenticate using a service account to keep our connection secure and execute the same store procedure in Google BigQuery. We will also get a subset of five recommended products together with a scale between zero to one representing the confidence of the algorithm. We can take all of this information to the next level and combine it into an analytical dashboard in Looker. We can see relevant information that is coming from our system of record as well as other sources in Google BigQuery. We have also seen how we can take advantage of pre-existing machine learning libraries and embed them in SAP logics. This way, we can provide our salespeople with better information about our customers' interest. And we can also provide our customers with a better experience as they get more accurate recommendations of what may be of interest to them.